Regicide, killing a god king. Even though he's not, he's just a man with power. The Singularity Reactor. About to fist him. This fist is going up his anus. Here's the rest of the knights. Is that twelve? Brothers, the time has come to call upon the true power of the Heaven's Ward. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see six on the left. Yep. That's twelve. Fight me if you will, warrior of the night. I cannot. All who stand against me will be destroyed, be they servants of the darkness or the light. By my blessing shall all men be sanctified, and an endless era of peace begin. Vice and conflict shall cease to be. This fist. You reject my divinity. No, this one. Yet what have you to offer my people in its stead? Bitter truth, virtuous suffering. No matter if you will leave your cause just, I call upon you to defend it with your life. to the round. Can't be it. Really?
trippy area. Double raise. It was a pretty fun fight. Did you turn back into the other guy? Still, you stand. How long has this guy been alive? Who? What are you? Still there. What? Hey. What? What's up with the sword? It is over then. I had hoped that mine would be the hand to end it. 
But knowing you, there was little chance of that. I've got to pee. It would seem the eye has served you well. is to take them beyond the reach of man and dragon both. With this task accomplished, my toil shall finally be at an end. So if I get this right, he wants to take over his phone. Far so good. Damn it, do you always have to cut it so bloody close? Any doubt? Oh, well, Let us return to Ishgard. Our friends will be eager to learn the battle's outcome and welcome back their champion. I feel like we're not going to get the welcome we're seeking if we go back.
Even with those two. Where is Estinian? Uh, he may or may not have become Nidhogg. So I still don't 100% understand how that even happened. Oh wait. Soul in Ishgardian history to arrive in our city upon Dragonback. <laughs> this scene shall be remembered for a thousand years to come. Yeah, that's my pet. As we had feared, the Archbishop summoned the soul of King Thorden and to himself, and thence became a primal. But he and his knights are no more, thanks to the Warrior of Light. Your struggles are not yet over, mortals. What? Uh, whom do I have the pleasure? I am Midgard Sormer. I have journeyed with Heidelin's champion and observed his deeds in the conflict between man and dragon. Tell me. Children of Thordon, do you desire peace? My people have committed unspeakable atrocities against dragonkind, even against our own. Would that we could undo these wrongs, but we cannot. Be that as it may, the future yet presents a chance to begin anew. Our nation has broken free of the shackles of a false faith, and Nidhogg shall lead his kindred against us no more. I doubt not that it will require much effort and perseverance, but is my belief that in time, Ishgard will again become a place where man and dragon may abide together in harmony. I shall remember thy words. Yet be warned, Nidhogg's soul liveth on. That's not good news. His unbridled rage hath claimed for its vessel the one thou callest the Azure Dragoon. Astinian. Doubt not but that Nidhogg will call out to his brood ere long, nor that they shall answer him. Steal yourselves, for the true test is yet to come. Come what may, we will never cease to believe. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. A thousand year war cannot be ended in a day. It may take generations. What thou dost begin, thy children must continue. Entrust unto them thy hopes and dreams, that peace may reign again and forevermore. Done goofed. Well, it's saying done goofed. Not us. And here's the ending. Oh, we're being accepted. I'm gonna mute myself. Attest 
fact that Sir Emmerich, acting on behalf of the Archbishop, has appended his signature. I do hereby declare that from this day forth, the Holy See of Ishgard shall once more be counted a member of the Eorzean Alliance. Let our nations move forward as one and stand united against the Galian Empire. For the future of Eorzea. For the future of Eorzea! Now for what the Ashians are to. There you are. Hmm. A noble monument? To a noble soul. From here, Lord Orgefond can watch over all of Ishgard. It has been a long and arduous journey, and we have lost much and more along the way. Yet come what may, we must stay true to our purpose and press on. <laughs> That's right, you two! It's high time we got back to rebuilding the Scions. Which means we're going to need money, and lots of it! It's doing the loading thing. So ends a glorious chapter in their tale. However, tumultuous days yet lie ahead for Ishka. After a thousand years under the yoke of the church, the people take their first tentative steps into the unknown. And though they spy a glimmer of peace upon the horizon, Nidhogg's vengeful shadow yet remains to darken the way. Be that as it may, So long as the young commander of the Temple Knights and his heroic companions are there to guide them, the people may hold fast to hope. The hope that one day, true peace will return to Ishgard, and that man and dragon may live in harmony once more. Let the deeds writ herein never be forgot.
that they may inspire generations yet unborn to strive ever heavensward. I like how they go from heaven toward to heaven toward. I like that. Taking down the heaven toward to go heaven toward. Well, this was a great expansion. I did enjoy it. I really did. Uh, of course, this is only up to 3.0. And currently there's 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3 to go through. So, yeah. And then 3.4 is coming later on, so... Yeah. I do like the music, too. What time is it? 30. Okay. 10.30. I love how the in-game community planners are just two people. And the U UI designer is just two, two people. Oh right, that's Dulala, isn't it? The Alpha with the wizard hat. So all this is going to be highlighted because it's the end of Heaven Toward. The Almighty God King is dead, and it's Knights Twelve. I'm pretty sure that that was meant to be Knights of the Round. That the Heaven Toward. Plug this into your eye. I am so glad that my stream cut out after the Ace Chemical. Uh, research facilities uh, stuff and before I took on the heavens ward you know what if I get that one I think I think I'm gonna turn off uh, stuff God damn it, Lustinian. So, as always, we're gonna let this play out. So far, it looks like we're pretty far through. Yes! Nanamo, you, you return to us! Thank God Nanamo's back. I would have freaking stopped my sub, everything, if Nanamo actually died. And, you know, there wasn't a way in this expansion to bring it back. You know what? I figured, you know, 
they're building up to the expansion. Let me see if something happens in the expansion. And something did! She's back! And there's Hilda. Pretty hot. I can lie. Oh, harsh font. He became really religious after that. Really holy. day thing now. Oh, we're getting to uh, Battleshire and all that. Also, is Stola. Going back. I can't forget that. That, that was when uh, we were about to fight Bismarck. So we're probably around Level 58 area. Requests. There's a Stola. Thank God she's back. Waifu is back. into level 59 stuff. I know this this is level 59. I remember because my warrior was level 58 and I'm like okay I'll just do this. Oh hey I reached an impasse I need to be level freaking 59 to get in here. Shiva, as we're making our entrance to Asisla, giving her life to save us and allow us in. And there's the Ashian Prime. After uh, Goten and Trunks fused, it's weird. I thought they would turn into uh, Gotenks, but they turned into Ashi and Prime. Pretty weird, but oh well. And there's the Heaven's Ward. All twelve of them. That fight was interesting. It's pretty fun. Now we're at the end. What we just, just saw literally five minutes ago. The after interesting a little bit of banter between uh, Tat 
Totaru and uh, Alfino. This is good, man. Copyright licensing division. <laughs> Three people in, in that division. Already doubled it in the development support area. There's Ashfront Shield. Come on. Oh, we're getting to the North American people. Oh. Ooh, artwork. Of a dragon. Been over ten minutes. Michael Sherlock, it's cool. So I wonder if, if you're working for like Square Enix, I wonder if you get to play games, like for a part of your day. Like I wouldn't expect them to be just playing their game all day since you know they do have to get actual work done like although if you were a tester hired by Square Enix you'd just be playing the game all day I suppose really work on it or are they just listing off everyone because I don't think I Eidos had any part in this oh now they're getting some anti dragon song give it up for these people they they make really great videos music especially in Nobu God damn no no boost just Yes. So I wonder if this also entails the credits for the the stuff past a realm reborn but before Heaven Toward. Heaven Toward. Heaven Toward? Word. The 
dun dun. Voice actors. Why are they all in caps, pretty much? I guess they're companies. Oh my god, there's a lot of credits. I thought we were almost done when I saw the music credits. But no. You gotta thank everyone in the mom. And I forgot how to make it go faster. Something's happening with this background, I guess. I guess we're getting to the... ...and music stuff now. I don't know... William Chip Beeman. Chip Skylark? Okay, I think we're at the end. Nope. Not yet. I thought we were because, you know, we had that. Oh, I think we are now at the end, then. Given that the creator logo. Special thanks. Mitsuhiro Arita, Shinji Hashimoto, KT Honda, Mitsufa, Mitsuhiro Sasaki, Yojiwe, Wada, Seikeda, Toshiyuki Inui, Kazuhiro Kanzaoka, Rei Kawano, uh, Akihiko Yoshida, Mariko Suzuki, uh, Ryosuke Nakana, Nakanishi, Raiko Uematsu, uh, Mercy Ross, Eric Ross, Fritz Hawking, Chris uh, Leanne Araya, Hirotaka Kurke, Kichi Motoyama, uh, Hiroshi Oko Okamoto, Yasuhiro Suno, uh, Kenjo, Kenjo Akiyama, Shinji Daigo, Kei Honma, Hiro Hiroki Kaminaga, Tomikazu Kirita, Yasuhiro Saki, uh, Brian Dudash, Taichi Hiro, Hiro Yanagi, Masaya Takeshige, Microsoft Japan Company Limited, Aizo Corporation, Hirokazu Kai, Microstar, Tatsuya uh, Sugisawa, MSI Computer Japan Limited, 
Yuki Ugurata, Akira Watanabe, Hideki Miyamori, and all Final Fantasy XIV boys. Hey, that's me! He thanked, he thanked me! Well, without you, we wouldn't have someone to throw 13 or 15 bucks a month at. Thank you. So, are they f mainly Square Enix Company Limited in Japan? Hmm. I think I gotta mute myself for this. So La Habrea and Igayon have fallen. Bested by mortals in their attempt to initiate the Eighth Rejoining. That they should be so complacent. And now it falls to me to deal with the consequences. Without intervention, the balance between light and darkness will begin to shift, placing our mission in jeopardy. Hydaelyn's champion has grown too strong. His might encroaches upon the realm of gods. Equilibrium must needs be restored. The time has come for you and yours to join the fray. Warrior of Darkness. They are on the moon. Why are they on the moon? How did they get there? Who is that guy? Is this a throwback to Final Fantasy 4? Is that the guy? Is that the human from uh, the 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 opening? Oh. Remind me, why is there no rest for the righteous? Because they care, Master Garland. I'm not fighting it before I fight Bahamut. We're so close to being with the Bahamut. Ah, of all the things they could have picked to play with, that's not a toy, you bloody fools! It's a primal! There's Alexander. There's the big bad one. Spires of deception crumbles to dust to lay bare truths long concealed. 
Well, there's the next big guy. Beyond shimmering shadow, simmering shadow lies shimmering light. There's the next big guy. Can I talk now, game? <laughs>